Hello everyone, this is uh, Jan, I'm at Viking Aircraft and um, I'm going to show something that we did to our panel um, and talk about some varieties of that. Uh, mostly it's just to make it easier to work on something like this. We have some piano hinges that we've installed back here and it's really in order to be able to kind of pull the panel out and ha be able to fold it down um, if we did this again, I probably wouldn't use the hinges. I'd probably just cut this panel and just use the top lip and rivet that in and then put nut plates. Then you can use a flat sheet of metal to make your panel. Um, this is kind of neat using the piano hinges, but it's also a, a little bit hard to get it all lined up properly. But what we're really interested in seeing is um, for people that have built airplanes before, and also aircraft mechanics and avionics technicians, they know that that would be the last one they built where they would not have real access to the back of the panel and some place to mount the avionics, cables, batteries, solenoids, such and such. Because building the plane thinking that you never have to fix it is really stupid. <laughs> There's nothing, no matter how good work you do, that you don't have to go back in later and tweak something, replace something, get something working and all that. And that is not fun with the legs up in the ceiling and your back against the, the, the seat and your head up underneath there. Uh, even with a flashlight in your teeth and a screwdriver in your hand, you cannot do good work laying upside down like that working on stuff. So we got two things going in our favor here. One is this large shelf in the back here, okay? This entire area has been made into an aluminum shelf. Uh, could actually be like eighth inch um, aircraft plywood too, uh, varnished, because that's also easy to, to screw things down to and so forth. But we used aluminum, lightweight aluminum with some stringers in it. And it gives us a place where we can physically mount the things that usually clutters up your whole firewall or that you have to strap to various beams and, 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 and such. This way you can you know, lay out your electrical system on a piece of paper or you can just take your components and put them here like we've got our buses. We've got a junction area over here, we got our batteries, bus bars across the negative, we got our our solenoids for one battery with our diode, we got a solenoid for our backup battery, we got a computer that operates the engine, and so forth and so on. Basically everything that we would need. And then we also have a wire bundle that has enough slack in it in order to bridge across to this fold down panel. Now on the bottom of the panel we on the Zenit, you know, Zenit kind of has this bar across and what we did is we took number 10 stainless steel ADEL clamps and took the rubber off of those. We used some of them to hold our shelf and then we used some of them to hold the panel so it can fold down. Now right now I'm just letting it kind of rest on this, this uh, stick here but it might be, you know, when you're actually physically working on it, just take a piece of rope or something and tie it to the ceiling so that you don't get it to fall down. So then what you want to do is you want to get all the things that are in here to one location and all the things that are on your panel to one location and then you want to bridge across um, kind of like your car door in your car where all the wires go across in one spot and usually they don't go like really like straight across they kind of go diagonally across in one bundle and that just gives you more movement to go back and forth like that so that is uh, home build helps tip of the day for home builders.